Shalom. I want to start off by saying Kal Halal Yamla Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai Ba'asham Reka Kudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us the truth and who rule well. Peace and citations unto the Hakim that is spread around the four corners of the earth, spreading this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom to the hopeful elect. I'm the brother Kwata Zapsayan, coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai with another lesson, with another video. And Lord willing, this video is edifying. Gun. So the name of this video is your wife or your girlfriend has to be jealous of this woman. So you might ask, who is this woman speaking about? Let's go to the scriptures to see what the name is of this woman. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 2. Verse 6 and 7. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, which is the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and Bahasham is in the name of, and Yahweh Shai is the person who everybody ignorantly calls Jesus. So reading it, reading it again, but we speak the wisdom of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom which Yahweh Basham Yahushai ordained before the world unto our glory. So, if you want to know who this woman is talking about, then we got to go into the strong concordance of the, of the Bible, which is in the Greek. And we go into the word wisdom. And in the Greek, it reads, Strong's G, 4678, Sophia. 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 So that's the name of the woman that your wife or your girlfriend should be envious of. She should be jealous of. Because you should be spending more time with wisdom than with your counterpart. You know? Because as the ordinance is of Yahweh Shem Yahweh pursuing to Second Corinthians, the 11th chapter, you have Yahweh, you have Yahweh Shai, and then you have the Son of Man, meaning the men. But you have to seek to please Yahweh Shai. And how are you going to do that? By diving into the scriptures, by being occupied with prophecies. You know, and that's wisdom. And your wife is going to uh, follow you. You know, she's going to be safe through, she's going to be safe through you. You see? So Sophia is that woman that you should follow and that your wife should be wife and girlfriend should be uh, jealous of and the outline of biblical usage says wisdom broad and full intelligence used of the knowledge of very diverse matters the wisdom which belongs to men uh, let me see specified especially the very varied knowledge of things human and divine acquired by acuteness and experience you see and summed up in maxims and proverbs so you got to be occupied with proverbs you got to be occupied with scriptures you got to be occupied with the experience of the lord of the men of the lord you know because that's what the bible is full of the bible is full of the experiences of our forefathers that came before us you see the bible is a history book the science and learning, the act of interpreting interpreting dreams and always giving the sagest advice. Gone, the sagest advice. How? How are you able to break down dreams if you know the scriptures? If you know certain things that come uh, are being explained in the scriptures, then if somebody comes to you with a with a dream, with a prophetic dream, then you might be able to break it down because for example, let's say uh, somebody gets gets overflowed with water, you know, and that person was feeling very uh, anxious, you know. So in the scriptures, you know that water represents people, you know, water represents uh, an army. So maybe that can uh, um, personify that the person is going to be overwhelmed by people in the near future, you see. But how are you going to be able to break that down by, being, by dwelling with wisdom? 
you see so let's read further the in the in intelligence events in discovering the meaning of some mysterious number or vision gone you see it's exactly what i was talking about without even reading this next uh, verse or the next uh, the next the next explanation so it, uh, it already tells you that through the scriptures through dwelling with wisdom you might be able to interpret dreams skill in the management of affairs how through wisdom by experience experience of the men that came before us devout and proper prudence in intercourse with men not disciples of Hamashiach skill and discretion in imparting Christian truth gone you should be discreet in this thing of ours you know as the scripture says don't give your pearls to swine you know um, a young man speak when there is need of thee if not, you know, hold thy mouth. Is it, if it's not a, a matter that concerns you or where people ask for your opinion, uh, you don't have to come with your wisdom, you know, because that can always also be seen as uh, be, be taken as arrogance. You see? Let's go into that word devout. And that word devout is having something deep religious, having or showing deep religious feeling or commitment totally committed to a cause or belief gone so that's what the word devout mean means we are devout men you know we are totally committed to this belief this belief of ours you know which this belief is based on history is based on what we see right now you know yeah man so this is not the only place where it is explained what Sophia is. If you go to Wiki, it says Sophia is wisdom. Sophia, coin Greek. Wisdom is a central idea in Hellenistic philosophy and religion. Plat Platonism, Gnosticism, and Christian theology originally carrying a meaning of cleverness skill the later meaning of the term close to the meaning of pronesis pronesis is wisdom and intelligence was significantly shaped by the term philosophy love of wisdom is used by plato you see so this is the the statue that they use to personify wisdom which you can see they they make it look like a Edomite Caucasian woman which uh, Edomite is the is the biblical name of the white people but that's not how wisdom looks you know there's not a, a figure to wisdom let's see and if you also just google name meaning and Sophia you also get the the correct the correct explanation because it's always wisdom you see, even with uh, baby names, behind the name, baby names, it shows you as female, origin, Greek, wisdom. There are many, many uh, variations of the spelling of Sophia throughout the world, but the most common American alternative spelling is Sophia with F-I-A, other alternate spelling includes Sophia and Sophia so this is the name of the woman that your wife should be <laughs> be jealous of because you should be dwelling more with her Come on, so let's go back to the scripture because that's when the secrets are gonna be made manifest onto you so let's go into that word mystery in the Greek Strong's G 3466 Musterion 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 and the outline of biblical usage says hidden thing, secret, mystery generally mysteries religious secrets confided only to the 
initiated and not to ordinary mortals. <laughs> you see, so it's not made known unto ordinary mortals. And who is it? Does it pertain to? This automatically lets me think about this scripture. Gone. This is Amos 3 verse 7. Surely Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. You see, those are not ordinary mortals. Those are not ordinary men. Those are men that are skilled in the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. The men that are occupied in reading prophecies and reading the Bible and uh, sharpening their skills, exercising their, their skill. Salakia, Exer. Bear with me for a second. Bear with me for a second. Come on, let's see Hebrews 5, verse 14. Let me start at 13. For everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. Come on, so if you only use uh, milk scriptures to um, identify and to explain certain things, then you are not skilled in the way in the word of righteousness because it goes deeper than that you have the sayings then you have the dark sayings you know that, that heavy meat that you are supposed to chew after being years in this truth you know verse 14 but strong meat belongeth to them that are full of age even those who by reason of use having their senses exercise to discern both good and evil you see so the men of the lord they are exercised in discerning both good and evil, you know, they're training, they have trained their mind. So let's go to that word, Hebrews 5. Hebrews 5, verse 14. And in the Greek it says, Strong's G, 11.28. Gumnazo. Gumnazo. Gymnazo. In the outline of biblical use, it says to exercise naked in the palestria, palestra of school of athletics, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for this. To exercise vigorously in any way, either the, the body or the mind. Gone. So in this instance, we're speaking about exercising the mind. How? By diving into wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You see? And also a point that I wanted to bring out was Sophia is also mentioned in the etymology online, which uh, the word etymology means the study of the root of the words. So this is uh, Sophia, and it says feminine, uh, feminine proper name from Greek Sophia, meaning skill, knowledge of, uh, acquaintance with, sound judgment practical wisdom cunning shrewdness philosophy also wisdom personified you see so the the personification of wisdom is being is being mentioned as sophia abstract noun from sophus which is wise see sophist saint sophia in ancient church names and names and place names in the east it's not necessarily a reference to a person. The phrase also is the English translation of the Greek for divine wisdom or holy wisdom to which churches were dedicated. Gone. And this is a fun fact that I wanted to show you. This is, um, you have the prefix and the suffix. And the suffix, the uh, suffi on the end of a word, makes it, uh, means knowledge. 
the word forming element meaning you see sophie the word forming element meaning knowledge from old french sophie from latin sophia from greek sophia and from sophia skill wisdom and knowledge so if you go into philosophy what is this uh kairosophy so everything with sophie in the end means knowledge knowledge of that that certain skill just wanted to bring that out also but yeah man so the servants the prophets that's who Yahweh Basham Yahweh shows his mysteries onto those are the people the men that are exercising that skill of discerning good and evil of discerning the the the, the people that keep the law and the people that don't keep the law you see so for the next scripture I'm gonna go into the book of Proverbs Proverbs 4, verse 7. Proverbs 4, verse 7. This is, uh, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. You see? So when you are dwelling with wisdom, when you are shopping with wisdom, wisdom is the principal thing. That's why you should put wisdom before your girl and your wife. You see? Because... This is what it says in the Lashawan Kwadach. It says, Ra'a Shayak, Ra'ashyak. And the outline of biblical usage says, is the first, is the beginning, the best, the chief. So chief is the, is the best. And the, the beginning is the first. So um, basically this goes into that wisdom is the first thing that you should seek. And if you're done with that for the day, then you go do the, the other things. You see? So you should put wisdom, knowledge, and understanding first. Put Sophia first. <laughs> I might name this. I might name this video, Put That Woman First. Let me write that down. Put that woman first. Gone. So let's go to the next scripture, which is in Luke 24, verse 45. We start at 44. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. God, so... Yahweh Shai had to fulfill everything, all the prophecies that were written of him in the Old Testament. You see? Verse 45. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. God, so if you study, if you study to show yourself approved, as the scripture says, if you um, dwell with uh, dwell with Sophia, if you keep consuming this wisdom and knowledge, then Yahweh Shai. He's going to open up your understanding, you see, as he did in those times with uh, the disciples. So you have to feed yourself with this wisdom. And then after a while, Yahweh Shai is going to sup with you, you see. Let's go to uh, also in the book of Luke. It's only one verse 15. This is red letter, so this is Yahweh Shai speaking. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay, nor resist. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kin folks and friends, and some of you shall cause uh, salakia, and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. You see? So uh, Yahweh Shai, he's going to give you uh, a mouth with wisdom to speak unto your adversaries in that day. Because you're not going to be able to contain yourself. And the wisdom is going to dwell with you. And then you are going to be moved by the Holy Spirit to say certain things. You see? Which are not of yourself, but of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. So that's why you should try to fill your, yourself up with all this wisdom. So that 
in that time, you know, you won't quench the spirit. You see? Let's go to the next scripture to explain to you where wisdom comes from. Which is in the book of Sirach 24. Come on. This is uh, Sirach 24 verse 1. Wisdom shall praise her and shall glory in the midst of her people. In the congregation of the Most High shall she open her mouth and triumph before his power. I came out of the mouth of the Most High and covered the earth as a cloud. Khan, so that's what we are reading about in 1 Corinthians. First Corinthians seven, uh, First Corinthians two and seven. But we spoke the wisdom of Yahweh Hashem in the in the mystery, even the hidden wisdom which Yahweh ordained before the world, unto uh, before the world unto our glory. You see, so this hidden wisdom of the Most High it was ordained before the world, before the world even was. You see, and that's what we read here. So uh, Ecclesiasticus 24 verse 3. I came out of the mouth of the Most High and covered the earth as a cloud. I dwelt in high places and my throne is in a cloudy place. It's like in a cloudy pillar. Verse 5. I alone compassed the circuit of the heaven and walked in the bottom of the deep, in the waves of the sea, in all the earth, in every people and nation I have a possession gone so through wisdom Yahweh Shai, he made all of this he made the whole earth through wisdom so the wisdom is when you look up in the sky wisdom is when you're looking into the deep in the sea you know wisdom is when you look at a rock because with wisdom it was created you know a rock is not just a rock a rock is is a it's minerals and substances that your body also needs that the earth also needs that this plant needs need you see it might seem insignificant insignificant to you but the most high had made it with wisdom you see so that's why wisdom dwells dwells everywhere god for six in the waves of the sea and in all the earth and in every people and nation i have a, have a possession god so these other people they also have their their how do you call it they also have their, I don't want to say good points, but they also have their skills. That's what I, that's the word I was looking for. Every nation have their particular skill, you know, like how Moab is a what was it, a wash pot, meaning uh, Moab is a very good servant, you know. And let me see what are the skills of these other nations. Mm. Yeah, I can't really come up with uh, certain ones right now, but it, <laughs> I know that Ham is going to get uh, a position in the kingdom where he's going to be above Esau, Edom. So he's going to be like a, a guard. He's going to be on guard duty and stuff like that. But yeah, not to get off topic. For seven, with all these, I sought rest. And in whose inheritance shall I abide? That's what wisdom asks the most high. Okay, I did all of these things, you know, um, I went through the deep, I, I roamed across the earth, so why, where should I take rest? And this is what the Most High said, so the creator of all things gave me a commandment, which is an ordinance, which is not broken, you know, and he that made me caused me, Salakia, he that made me caused my tabernacle to rest and said, let thy dwelling be in Jacob and thine inheritance in Israel. God. So that's why only Israel, Yashar Allah, which are the so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, they have the secrets of the Most High. They have that link with Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. We are those people because wisdom dwelt with us. Wisdom doesn't dwell with these other nations, so they can't crack the code from the from the Bible. You see. Let's go to. 
Isaiah 33 and 6 to close it off. Here's Isaiah 33 verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, which uh, stability goes into faith. You know, when you go into that word faith, it means to be unmovable. So wisdom and knowledge, if you dwell with wisdom, if you dwell with Sophia, and if you get this knowledge, you know, that's when you're going to be stable. You're going to be unmovable. That's when your faith is going to be unmovable in those times. And which times is it speaking about? Um, in the times of, in the perilous times, because that's what, uh, what was it, the book of uh, Timothy says, in the end, perilous times shall come. And this is also uh, the book of Luke 18, verse 8. I tell you, this red letter, so this is how I speaking. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. Gone, because at that time when uh, Yahweh Shai comes, the earth is going to be desolate, it's going to be perilous, it's going to be uh, just like how Yahweh Shai, when he fulfilled what he had to fulfill when he was on the cross, then he almost had a, had a moment of doubt. He said, where's my power? Did my power forsake me? You see? So the walk, that walk that we walk, which is uh, behind Yahweh Shai, we are also going to be tempted to say that or to think that like, okay, but f through all these things that we've done, you know, we did our works, we did our best to help Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, not to help them, not help Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai Salak, yeah, but help Yashar Allah, you know, bring um, feeding the sheep and such. So after doing all these things, even some of the, the, the men of the Lord are going to be shaken. You see? Because Yahweh Shai was shaken. But through wisdom, knowledge, understanding, you're going to be steadfast and you're not going to, you're not going to be doubtful in your mind. You know, you're not going to let that doubt consume you. Because we are in these chains of darkness. Doubt sometimes enters into your mind, but you got to rebuke it. You see? So going back. Is Isaiah 33 verse 6 and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation Come, because that's what we hope for we hope for salvation and who's going to bring salvation he he savior he salvation which is Yahweh Shai and he's going to come with the glory of, of uh, the, the chariots you know and with the angels you see so that's what we are preparing ourselves for mentally with this wisdom, knowledge, understanding so that our faith will be boosted, that we will have so much faith that we will be unmovable and we are going to strengthen ourselves until that day of salvation. Reading on, and the strength of salvation, the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. Khan, and the fear of Yahweh by Shem Shai, that is his treasure because the fear that you have in Yahweh is going to make you to seek for wisdom is going to make you be, be sheltered, you see? Because if you are sheltered, if you have the fear of Yahweh Basham Yahweh you're going to dive into the scriptures and then you are going to run into Yahweh Basham for, Yahweh for, for as a strong tower, as a hedge, as a buckler, as a shield, as a sun, you see? So... By meditating and, and, and being occupied in scriptures, dwelling with Sophia, then that's going to boost up your faith and that's going to bring you ultimately to salvation. Gone. So, Yahweh Tazah, this video is edifying and I want to say, Kal Halal Yamla, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Rikha Kodash, Shalom Akim.